Welcome to the CG Bros and part three in our tutorial series on uh, the shattering features within the PDI plugin for Maya. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the object that we've been working with here. Let's go ahead and select that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see what the third option is here, and that's uh, the radial uh, option. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some of these parameters here. There's the number of rings and the noise. And you want to think about it if you were to look at it from the top here. Number of rings, if, pretend you're looking down a you know, a tree stump, and the number of rings, they're concentric circles around the, you know, based around the pivot. So, uh, based on the number of rings, we can set this up to, you know, any number we'd like, but uh, say a uh, number of rings seven. So, we're going to get seven concentric rings, and the noise factor here is actually the, the fracturing between the, the noise value between the uh, number of rings uh, that we're going to uh, see. So, let's go ahead and set that up to a pretty high value. Let's go ahead and set it to two. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Oh, let's go ahead and set our number of shards to standard 1,000. And shatter it. You can see how that gives us a nice radial uh, pattern. And then you can see the number of rings. And the, the, the offset is based on this noise factor here. Let's go ahead and do that. And set our noise factor down to, say, 0, just so you can see what that would look like without any noise at all. Let's go ahead and select our object and reshatter it. And you can see the distribution of the uh, fractures is uh, you know, extremely uniform and that doesn't uh, look very realistic. But you know, depending on the effect that you're after, uh, this could be very useful as well. Okay, we're going to show you uh, some of these other options here in the radial axis here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new piece of geometry. And um, on the last uh, shatter we did, we did, we did it along the shortest side, and there's th th three axes here: the shortest, the medium, and then the longest. So, you, as you saw before, uh, I'm going to go ahead and reduce this to 200. And uh, when we do the radial axis on the shortest side, that's more for uh, doing applications like glass, you know, something crystalline. Oh, I'm going to introduce a little bit of noise into that. Eight point nine. Select it. Shatter it. Again, you can see the irregularities that that introduced. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and select the medium radial axis, and that's going to go along the medium length here. We can kind of take a look at that. And these um, uh, axes are both, uh, the medium and the longest, are both good for doing planks of wood. I'm going to go ahead and set the longest. So the pieces would actually shatter along their radial uh, fractures, uh, along the longest length of the board. That looks pretty realistic when you're, you're doing some uh, destruction type animation. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, to make this a really uh, a more realistic board uh, shatter and take it to the next level, I might uh, set this down to, uh, say, 50, shatter it along the longest edge here. And I might uh, select all my objects and then uh, do a uniform shatter of maybe uh, 3. And that'll fracture the boards in a, in a more uh, dynamic and realistic way because they actually will break out. Now you could actually model these out, but this is a very nice procedural way to uh, really get a lot of complexity uh, in your models. PDI is a great tool. Board fragments. See you next time.